Situation with this hole. And that's where he's headed, just a little bit right of it. That is the perfect line. Yeah. Oh, Ryan, that's just... <laughs> so I'm super excited to make this video today because we're going to answer a question that so many golfers ask. Should you be trying to hit the ball as hard as you possibly can off the tee? Or should you be trying to hit it nice and smooth? So between those two styles of swinging, which one hits more fairways? Which one hits the middle of the club face more often? Now I know the answer that traditional golf advice would give you, but are you sure that that's accurate? Now I promise you this, if you stay to the end of this video, you may or may not be surprised at the results that I come up with. I'm really looking forward to this, so let's get stuck in. So if you're like every other golfer on the planet, you'll typically hit the ball worse the faster you swing it. When you stand up on a tee and there is just nothing in your way and you get free rein at this thing, you can hit it as hard as you possibly can, I bet you often hit it worse than if you just hit it nice and smooth. But I would challenge you on that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to hit five golf shots with my stock driver swing, and then I'm going to hit five shots with me basically going all out, as hard as I can swing a driver. And I've got TrackMan here, I've got my iPad ready for proof so that we're not just looking at the ball flight and going, yeah, that went further. I want hard evidence through TrackMan technology. I've got my numbers here, I've got my iPad. We're gonna finally find out what's more accurate and what's the better way to swing it? Now what we're going to do to make this super simple is we're going to compare three different things. We're going to compare club head speed, we're going to compare carry distance, and we're going to have a look at the dispersion pattern. Now dispersion pattern basically means how tight can I hit these five golf shots next to each other? So this is the time that I start to pull out all the excuses. My back's a little bit sore, the wind's into me today, it's off the left. So, but I'm going to hit five golf shots basically as my stock driver swing. We're gonna see how accurate I am. So ball number one, let's give this a go. I'm just going to play my stock driver swing and we're going to have a look at the results. Ball number one, here we go. Hopefully these go okay. Okay, so there's a little heel cut for you. This wind isn't the greatest with that ball flight. So we've got there, 105 miles an hour club head speed and the carry number was 213 meters, not yards, meters, okay? Went a little bit right of target there. So let's have a little bit of, a, of another go. See if I can get one out of the screws this time. Oh, another little healy cut. Okay, oh yeah, that's, that's a little bit to the right. So again, 105 club head speed. Carry's probably gonna be fairly similar. 222, yeah, I must've hit that a little bit better. Okay. So, so far, my, my, my club head speed, I don't know what happened on that first one. It's gone dramatically shorter than that one. Let's give this another go. There's two balls down the drain. Let's give this another go. Now, again, remember, I, I haven't warmed up. My back's sore, the wind's into me. If there's any other excuses I should be using, please comment so I can use them. All right, let's see if we can get one here. Okay, getting a little bit of heel bias today. That's a similar shape, 106 miles an hour, so I'm starting to warm up, beautiful. I need to, I need to get the stack, I've got the stack system, haven't used it for a while. 218 carry. So they're pretty consistent out to the right though. Let's have a look, two more to go. Oh, Ryan, that's just, it's just the same impact area every single time. 106 miles an hour. Again, I'm just cruising. I'm not trying to hit it too hard. I'm just cruising. I've got more in, <laughs> I've got more in me than that. Okay, 221 carry. Last one with the stock swing. Come on, let's middle one. People are gonna think I just carry it 220 with driver. Jeez. <laughs> 
Okay, well, there you go. So, th so that, like, that's going to happen. 105 club head speed. That one should be left of target. So <laughs> that's kind of ruined my dispersion a little bit there. It was actually pretty good up until then on the right-hand side. There's, there's quite a bit, uh, that one there on the left. But there's a prime example of, of what my cruise swing would be. So now, let's have a look and see what I can do when I crank that speed up. Let's see if anything improves. Alrighty folks, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to start cranking this up. Now, I do have more swing speed reserved, okay? That was obviously me just, just stock standard, haven't really warmed up to be fair, okay? But this is now me going to be, I, I reckon I can get this club head speed above 110, okay? Um, when I was doing stack system, not sponsored, not an ad, um, I actually could swing this driver up to about 126 without a ball, about 118, 119 with a ball. So I do have a lot more in the tank, I just haven't done it. Lazy me, okay? A bit like some of your practice habits, okay? If you want to learn how to practice a lot better, there's a link in the description to my Ultimate Guide to Practice series. Get it. Seriously, the best thing, best thing you can do for your practice, okay? Anyway, let's get, let's, let's keep going. Okay, so as hard as I can, basically as hard as I can hit this, all right? Now, what I'm going to change from my stock swing is I like to feel like I gain some height in the backswing. So I try and what I call like unweight and then basically slam my lead side down. It allows me to use the ground a lot better. And normally what happens with me is I actually hit the ball better straighter, longer. It's quite surprising, okay? Let's give this a go. So I'm going to go trying to get this club head speed to about 110 now, okay? So let's give this a go. Let's see if I can get my dispersion pattern a little bit better than what it was. <laughs> That's, that ball's probably gone, but Okay, I'm going to lose all five of these golf balls, but that was absolutely smoked. 111.8 um, club head speed, so nearly 112, so that's a seven mile an hour jump. I finally hit one out of the middle of the club face. It's gone 236 carry. Again, no excuses, but the wind is pretty heavy into me today. Okay, but the most important thing there was I swung it faster, I swung it harder. Okay, some would say I was more out of control yet I hit the middle of the face and jumped seven miles an hour. So let's give this another go. Little bit left of where I was aiming, but in all fairness, I actually think this track man isn't quite lined up perfectly, but that's okay. We'll give this another go. So my strike was a little bit worse there, it was a little bit more off the toe. But I'll tell you what, if that was on the golf course, it would be, it would still be very playable. It was pretty much just a, just a draw. Very, very similar to where the other ball went. 112 mile an hour club head speed, 240 meter carry. Okay. So straight away, I don't know what the, what the average carry distance will be, but it's dramatically different. Okay. Club head speed up seven miles an hour pretty consistently. So again, let's go again. So you can see here that that ball flight is completely different, completely different, sorry about that wind, completely different to the stock driver swing. I'm getting this more on the toe. That one was 113 miles an hour. You see what happens when I start to warm up? See, I wasn't kidding. Okay, a little bit of toe strike. I'd like to improve that strike a little bit, but look, the dispersion on those is crazy. You could throw a blanket over those albeit a little left of target, but way better than the other one. Okay, let's go again, two more. Oh my God, that was flush. Flush, as good as I've got. 113.2, at carry has to be much better. Aww, 232, track man, wrong, wrong. That we must have been a lot of wind up there, right? but that was dead, dead straight. That was so good. Again, I can throw a blanket over those. 
One more to go, and then we will have a look at the results. So this is, you can see 113 miles an hour. I am easily seven to eight, six, six to eight miles an hour quicker. I'm hitting it way better, and my dispersion is way better. Funny that. One more. Oh, I got one that went out to the right. It was, it was okay, but 113.2. That's gonna ruin my dispersion pattern there. Where did that one go? On the track, man. Okay, it, it, it's not bad. And remember, when you look at these comparisons, there were four you could throw a blanket over. Now you could also throw a blanket over the other ones as well, but they were a bit short and crappy. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to have a look at the results and we're gonna see which swing I did better at. All right, so as I look at these results, and I'm gonna share with you these on the screen as you can see them, but if we talk about our club head speed number one, with the stock driver, my average was 105.8. Okay, so let's call it 106, all right, for ease, just for ease. When I went to the faster swing, me trying to hit it all out, I actually jumped to 112.6 on average. Now you saw the first couple were about the 112 mark and then the last few were about the 113.2. So average wise, it's, it's jumped six and a half to seven miles an hour. So like I said, I do have more in the tank. It was just when I'm out there playing and I wanna hit a stock shot, I need to realize that I'm robbing myself of a few yards here. Let's talk about yards. Carry distance, two, again, wind into me, okay? Don't, don't come at me with that. 216.3 on average with my stock shot, 216 meters versus 236 meters. So there's a 20 meter difference. That's potentially two clubs. That's coming in with a seven iron instead of a five iron, or a nine iron instead of a seven iron and I was way straighter. Apart from that last ball which I blocked, you can literally see here that I can throw a blanket over the red dots that I've got on the screen here. Sure, I could throw the blanket over the, over the, over the blue dots, but they were all heel strikes. They were all little fady things that have gone way shorter. And I actually got a couple of those, those faster swings right out of the screws, which was really nice. And both shots had one, both shots had one that we could forget, okay? 80% of the shots were pretty good, and then there were 20%, one out of the five that, that wasn't. So we could essentially eliminate those, and you might find that, you know, given the fact that I can get 20 more yards out of that faster swing, you'd go with the faster one all day. There was, there's no reason, there's no data saying that I shouldn't be trying to hit a stock shot over a, um, you know, a, a, a full 110 mile an hour, you know, a 100% swing. I want to play that more than uh, my stock one, which was pretty slow. So there you have it, guys. What you saw there was the faster I swung it, the harder I went at it. Basically, I got straighter, okay? I got longer and I hit it better. So doesn't that show you that at least for me, it's better off, or I'm better off just going full ham at the ball. Now, of course, I can't talk for everyone else. If you struggle with swinging that club faster and you get worse results, a little bit like me with the stock shot, you hit it out of the heel, you hit it out of the toe, you hook it, you fade it, you slice it. Well, that would be your indication that you would need help with your game. So in the link below, in the description below, you'll see I've got a link to all my online coaching. I would recommend taking me up on my offer. I give a free analysis on the Skillist app. And then if you like that and you think we could do some good work together, you can sign up to one of my programs and I'd be happy to help you out. Now, if you find you're still struggling with the driver, I want you to watch the video that's on the screen right now. This is going to show you a simple technique that will allow you to hit many, many, many more fairways. Makes it really hard to hit some poor shots, so watch that right away.